ICP has risen by over 600% since September 2023. The internet computer has surged over 200% in the last three months. And the ICP price is expected to rise by another 30% in the next five days. Internet protocol is on fire at the moment. Is it a pump and dump or is this the real deal? Is ICP heading to new all-time highs? Guys, smash that like button. Let's jump into the charts and find out what's going on with ICP. Okay, guys. Guys, let's jump into this. So here we have ICP paired up with USDT. We're on the Binance daily time frame here, just so you can see the bigger overview, right? Because as I said in the opening of today's video, we have seen a significant surge to the upside, right? We've seen a 626% move. In fact, actually, it's a little bit higher than that. 642% uh, move since September 2022. It's been a pretty phenomenal ride. There's been a little bit of volatility, and we have seen some more moves recently, you know, if nothing moves in straight lines, we saw some pretty parabolic moves, then corrections. And these corrections for ICP have been pretty, pretty severe. You know, we have seen 28% over here. Um, we have seen uh, a move in January of 2024, where we saw a collapse of 41%. We then saw another surge upwards and another correction here coming in at uh, 36%. It's actually a little bit deeper than that. Uh, it's about 37%. And then most recently, we do have this little move here, right, where we have seen a bit more of a collapse to the downside at around 49.25%. Okay, so lots of kind of uh, pump and dump. So obviously, the terminology pump and dump, obviously, is something that gets thrown around in the crypto space quite a bit. Essentially, what's really going on here is liquidity grabbing, okay, lots of whales, market makers and exchanges are notorious for liquidity grabbing, essentially, they push the price to where people can get liquidated from their positions or for where there's a load of buy orders or a load of sell orders, all depending on what their motives behind those moves are. Essentially, they're looking to extract money from the market. So let's come back down into our charts, right? So we can see here that there's been a reasonable amount of liquidity coming out of the market. But with the most recent move to the downside, things aren't looking terrible. And I look at this through a slightly interesting lens. Maybe you haven't seen this kind of thing before. I look at this as an A, B, C, corrective pattern. Okay, this corrective pattern may or may not be over, but I su suspect that it probably is. Um, and it's looking for reversals. Okay, um, this would be known as what they call a running flat in Elliott wave theory. Okay, an A wave comes down, a B wave comes up higher than the origin of the A wave, and then the C wave comes down but fails to go down lower than the A wave. Okay, now looking at the overarching structure, that's probably the only kind of explanation I really have to understand the patterns that are going on here with ICP. What does this mean? Well, it means that ICP has got another run to the upside to have. And if we actually go ahead and take a look at some of the resistances with where they, uh, where the price in you know, history was kind of finding areas of resistance and support, well, we can see that there's some interesting ranges right in here. Okay, we do have this low uh, down here, and we have this high up here. So we know that we found support briefly down this lower range at $26, and we found resistance around $83. Now, if I drag this yellow box all the way across here, it gets us right into this interesting spot. It means that we are likely to see some areas of resistance. Now, you can see there's some minor ones in here as well. Uh, right in here, for example, we have support and resistance right in the middle of our larger target ranges, and this one's approximately $37 to $58. So, if we are to see kind of, you know, price continue this run to the upside on ICP, then we're going to be looking for that kind of price action to rally up to those kind of levels. If we have already bottomed out, which I would put down here on our A wave low, then we are going to be talking about the higher range. And it's no coincidence, I'll put another box in here, that our ranges of expectations are falling right in line with this upper area of resistance, right? $55 to $83. Now, it's not a new all-time 
all-time high. New all-time highs for ICP came in at $2,831. It was a phenomenal high point, and it was a phenomenal launch. Unfortunately, it was met with immense selling pressure and a complete collapse of the price action of ICP. Now, for anyone who wasn't around in those early days when ICP launched, essentially it was launched on all the major centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges simultaneously. It was almost a perfect launch. The price absolutely rocketed to the upside, and unfortunately, it was met with immense selling pressure and a massive, massive move to the downside. Now, obviously, this move to the downside has seen a significant opportunity as the price from those highs did actually come down to a significant low. Uh, it actually dropped down 99.9%. Okay, so it pretty much went to zero in that kind of regard. If anyone was buying um, you know, ICP at $2,800, as far as they're concerned, it went to zero. They lost so much money. But that was a huge opportunity, and we have rallied up quite a bit since then. So for me, it does look like ICP has the ability to look at this as a larger three-wave movement where we are targeting out around that kind of $55 to $83, maybe not a new all-time high. Like I said, that new all-time high or the all-time high for ICP was a phenomenal launch. I don't think we're likely to be pushing those kind of numbers. But if it did, what an opportunity it was to be buying ICP at those lower levels. Guys, why don't you check out this video right here where I'm discussing what is going on when it comes to some of the other projects in the crypto space.